Welcome to New Strength. I'm Christina Cook Lee. New Strength is a daily devotional offering hope and encouragement to people who are trying to get and stay free from depression and or dependency. I would encourage you to read along with me. If you're viewing directly on YouTube, check the description area below the screen for instructions on how you can. Thanks for joining me. Our topic is loneliness. The focus, lonely for God. The scripture, Colossians chapter 3 verse 2 from the New King James Version of the Bible. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Truly following after God is a lonely occupation. If my heart was completely single for the Lord, I would find myself in a position of awkwardness in the presence of some people. Only the ones who are passionate for the Most High can genuinely and happily and humbly cry out, Come, Lord Jesus. While others hesitate or choke on the words, unsure of so many things and always looking for an argument, when I live in the presence of God, there is nothing to argue about. I know His will prevails. I love His will. So why would I argue? What is there to argue about? Why would I say anything but, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, and certainly, Come, Lord Jesus, come. If my heart is lovesick for the Lord, I can't do some things. But the things I can't do are sweet and small sacrifices that I willingly make. Knowing the pain it would cause him to observe me acting out double-mindedness for the purpose of pleasing people who just don't get it yet. Philippians chapter 3 verse 7 says, But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Christ. The things I might have to count as loss in this life are nothing in the sight of God. Nothing more than ashes. What thing do I own that would be worth any price compared to living in His presence? What selfish thing do I have to say that would be worth causing Him to want to back away? He is holy, and He just won't stay where there is evil and wickedness. All of the things He is, I am not, except for the mercy and grace poured out on me. The best thing I can do is cast myself at His feet, in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17, he says to come out from among them and be separate. Coming out from among them and being separate speaks of a kind of loneliness. Being in a place of quiet contemplation can require shutting things off or turning away from the noise or people in order to turn up the volume of his voice. In his presence I realize what a people pleaser I have tried to be and for what. Friendship with the Lord means so much more than that. A wink or a nod from a person is nothing compared to His smile. There will always be unanswered questions on earth and times of silent wondering. When I get closer to Him, I realize I can't go by what I see. So many things are not what they appear to be. There is nothing I can say to change them. I just have to remember what He has said and not listen to other voices that would contradict let them talk on. The Lord still speaks, and He has so much to say when I am willing to come away. He waits for a chance to get a word in, because He is a gentleman. But I have to be willing to listen and wait. He won't compete with the crowds. He will delay until it is quiet enough for a whisper to be heard. He waits for me to be willing to come away from the work and the toil of a busy day to have time to sit and to think and to read and to pray, alone. But sometimes I don't, or sometimes I won't. So he just waits. Imagine that, the King of Glory waiting for my attention. How sad. Having time to be in his presence is worth getting rid of whatever stands in the way of being able to do that. Simplicity is a better idea. Less. What is standing in his place? Let me think. As I grow older and days go by, I realize that life is not a game. I've learned some lessons. I'll learn some more. His will isn't doing what I want to in his name. I want to be holy as he is holy, not just imitating people who I see. And if I can learn to trust him only, I know that I will learn to walk obediently. Part of what I live for is to sort him out and seek him out. 
and there is a lot of sorting and seeking to do. He is here, and so am I. Declaration, I will find new strength by separating myself unto the Lord. As I do, I will see things differently, which may in turn require some losses. Thanks for taking the time to listen. I would really appreciate it if you would like this segment, and if you wouldn't mind, please share it with someone else who might also benefit from it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the New Strength Devotional channel on YouTube or on WordPress, and then a link will come to you every day in your email with a segment like this. And if you're already a subscriber, I'll look forward to meeting with you again tomorrow. My prayer is that you will find new strength day by day and endless blessings. I'm Christina Cook Lee.